Listen, uh, the Atlanta Braves are red hot right now. Bravo indeed. 7.3 runs per game during their eight-game winning streak. And maybe the most important things, uh, they're in first place by doing a half game. Mm -hmm. well, so they have taken over this division. They are the red hot team. They're playing better than the Philadelphia Phillies. And what a win wow. down 7-2 uh, to two in this ball game. So we all know that BMAC is the greatest guy. It's great to see him back home, and like he was talking about, family, friends. But I'm curious now, the Phillies, they, all, they were from Swiss. They were the first-place team. They were the team we all kind of put up here after the yeah, big exactly. offseason. Can they now catch the Braves? Well, it's funny, man. I had all these things written down of what I wanted to say, but after listening to that piece right there from what Brian McCann said, that's the reason why the Atlanta Braves are in first place. When your leaders speak like that, when they have passion, when they say, hey, this stuff means the world to me, there's nothing that is more important than winning baseball games for my team. I'm telling you, that's exactly what it was. I'm t I had the Phillies win in the division, but the Braves have won me over. That young staff, second in the league in age. I mean, next, I think the San Diego Padres. For them to be as successful if they, as they have been, man, it's been absolutely amazing. The one thing about the Phillies is we speak about it all the time. You never know who's going to show up for the Phillies. They've got uber boatloads of talent, but you just never know who's going to be the guy to show up for them. Well, I still like both of these teams, and you saw tonight the dog fight is going to be. Sure. Nine, eight, that's what you're going to see the rest of the season. I, I really thought the Phillies would be able to, to acquire Kimbrel because they had a lot of excess money still left. I thought that would be the team to get him, and I thought that would be the difference. But the Braves are building on what they had last year. I'm giving the Braves the edge right now because of their coaching staff. I know Ron Washington is sitting over there. Walt Weiss is sitting over there. EY Young yeah. is sitting over there first. These guys. guys are old school baseball guys with a lot of energy, and you can tell they've been infectious with these young kids, and they're getting better and better. We saw a glimpse last year. Atlanta's legit. They brought in Donaldson. Now they got this kid, Austin Riley. You got to watch out for this Atlanta Braves team. It all comes down to pitching, but their pitching is continuing to grow up. I like the Braves right now at this point. Yeah, because we talk about them. It's like you think about the Atlanta Braves. What do you think about? You think about their young studs and Ozzie Albies or Ronald Acuna Jr. Mm -hmm. Or do you think of their veteran guys as like Nick Markakis? They're such a great mix. Freddie Freeman as well. So to have that great mix, it looks like the Braves are in the right direction, man. We can't fight it anymore, man. These guys are absolutely doing it. And they've got Dallas Keuchel coming. Oh, he's That's coming. a beautiful thing. He's, he's getting ready in the minor league. You think league, that beard so, is going to uh, be manicured, will, bro? He's going to be so They will good. add with Keuchel coming. <laughs> Braves red hot. They've won eight in a row.